code, she could have taken the board from him. Look at this. Glad to see the security system is keeping the right people out. What? What's the end? What's the end? These clowns are the same guns for hire who jumped our exchange at the stadium. Project Prado, the black badge. Right-wing paramilitary chumps protecting whoever paid the most. I guess that made them more like me than I care to admit. Were they just looking for another payday or did their business with the Broncos run deeper?
Are you hurt? Hey, we're good to go. Let's get that server back online. Can we just spend a few more minutes? Make sure they're all gone? Come on, don't worry. I got your back. Poor kid was scared shitless. But I thought we'd seen worse of it. Okay. Yeah, the server room is just down here. You're doing good. Come on. Hmm? I just... I didn't think I'd have a day like this when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> Wish I could say the same thing. The hmm? fact was, I'd gotten used to protecting Bronco in the big bad world. We hadn't anticipated the seed situation here. Hadn't prepared for it. I couldn't tell the kid that. <laughs> Something told me these guys didn't have security clearance. Fix this or what? In a few minutes, eh? I should be able to reboot the system, get all the components stuck online. We've got Broncos lock. That's all I care about. You should be able to lock us down, eh? If it works. So whatever you're doing, do it quick. I'm gonna make a sweep of the building and then get back to Rodriguez. Security system is back online. Things might be a little tougher for our fan club from here on in. Seems like breaching the perimeter is no more difficult than strolling through the front gate. But hey, who needs a church and horse when the alarm is down and your standing army is a dame, a dwarf, and a drunk? Bronco's office overlooked the atrium. I could check in and make sure he hadn't checked out.
Max! Your guy's working on the security system now, sir. It just came on. Okay, good. Then lock yourself down. Stay put. Let us take care of these guys down here. Once they realize they can't get to you, they should back off. Max, try not to completely destroy the place. Let's just concentrate on staying alive. Sir! There it went. He was tucked up safe. Now I need to make it to the lobby to complete my sweep of the building for what that was worth. Sunday at the office. No one else would need these. Mm, graduation shots of Rodrigo, Victor, and Marcella, educated at rich kids' finishing schools all over Europe. No wonder they had the common touch. Poor girl was dead, shot through the head by some hero fighting the rich one lonely secretary at a time. Cover, he just jumps out on his own. I didn't even hit the fucking X button.
it looked like we'd seen the worst of it. The elevator would take me back up to Rodrigo's office where we could wait the rest of it out. I didn't know what the hell I was going to find up there, but I sensed there wasn't going to be a stripper bursting out of a cave. Senor Branco! Senor Branco! I can't get through to him. Ever since the security door is triggered, he hasn't made a sound. Rodrigo, it's Max. Open up. Can you hear me? There's nothing big. Senor Branco, open up! I'm going to try to get in there from the roof. You find the security guard and get the hell out of here. I knew there was another way in upstairs to the helipad, the little luxury runaround that kept the rich looking down on the poor literally as well as metaphorically. Rodrigo! 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 He was dead. Clean, one shot, a professional job. I began to look for clues. I couldn't get playback on one of the cameras and it looked like the disc was missing. Someone in this building was trying to keep things low key. But then why had everyone else come driving through the goddamn wall? Fabiana. Even if the man who employed me was dead, his wife was still out there. Maybe she could be saved. Maybe some good news. Taking a photo from the broken fragment, something caught my eye. Fucking bomb. Only blind luck it meant the glass wouldn't fail. I've been out for any more than the smoke would have gotten. Look at me. I've been contracted to protect two people. One was being held in some hole. The other was sitting at his desk with a bullet in his head. And the company that had its logo on my paycheck was melting on top of my head. There's no way one bomb could have done all this unless the place was made of gasoline. This whole joint must have been rigged. The kid hadn't made it. Fuck. I had to make this corpse losing coward pay. Getting his gun was more than just expediency. No one would be rebooting his system. Poor bastard.
him. He should have shot himself and then he's a pain. Wow, this I got killed by like a dead guy. Rodrigo closed multi-million dollar deals. It looked like a fiery hell hole. Wow, looks like I go down like two hits too. Okay, good, good to know. I wouldn't last long if I didn't move. until I got all the way out there and I couldn't do shit because he had to go all the way Push it. Push. So much for a lazy Sunday afternoon. My next trick would be a high wire axe and a fiery pit for safety net. It was nice that no one was shooting at me for a change, but I'd take shot in the head over a slow roast on a spit any day of the goddamn week. Someone up ahead was hurt pretty bad. If he didn't die before I got to him, I might get some answers. Hey, why? Why Rodrigo Bronco? Why did you come to kill Rodrigo Bronco? I came to kill you! Because what you did to us! You killed so many of us! Oh, we knew that this poor bastard had to lie. He would be dead from shock or loss of blood in a half an hour, even if I didn't believe he had a third. Where is Fabiana? Fabiana Bronco, where is she? I don't want to talk about her. Up to you. Then it was up the hill for me, I guess, where the gang held sway. I had to try to figure out who was using these angry paramilitary clowns as some kind of front to kill Rodrigo. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Bronco was dead. Fabiano was held hostage. I had no idea who was behind any of this. I felt like a fool. I was a sweaty, gray-haired mess. This place, well, this place was going to kill me, too. I could see that now. I decided that I was going to die sober, not drunk. <laughs> Then would see who shot me. It was time to take back control from whoever was out to get me. If I didn't push them out, 
police my midlife crisis would confuse them enough so they did something stupid. It's the only hope I had. I knew I wasn't thinking straight. I was drinking and popping pain pills for years. I had a liver like a French goose and a skin like red leather. Hello. Hello, Victor. Max? Max, you, you, you're alive? Of course I'm alive. We did not know this. We are lost, Max. Our brother was everything to us. I understand. Listen, I'm, I'm sorry about your loss. Both of you. Rodrigo was a good man. I failed him. I thought I was tricked. What happened, Max? I don't know. Some guys from the crush of Prado came into the building downstairs, so while me and the security guard were dealing with them, an assassin must have come in and executed your brother. I, at least that's how I think it happened. No, you killed him, boy. You killed my brother. What are you talking about? I, I understand you're upset, but please, why the hell would I do that? To get his money, to take his money. How am I getting his money, Marcelo? Please, think. I work my ass off for your family. I saved your life twice, or more. Right now, I'm going to get Fabiana. Where is she? Where is Fabiana? She's in a place called Nova Esperanza. How do you know this, Max? One of the crotchet traders told me just before he died. Please, bring our sister-in-law back to us, Max. Our family is being torn apart. I guess I was finally about to go and experience the other side of Sao Paulo firsthand. The bit people try to ignore. The unpleasant memory they try to obliterate with cocktails and helicopters and parties and lines of blow like rich fools the world over. I was a day off the sauce for the first time in years and knew I was due a hangover sent direct from Mother Nature. <laughs> I had no idea where the hell I was going to go, so I decided to head straight for the street party that seemed to be raging. Either that or some other fool had gotten there before me and now is being ritually sacrificed. I've had better ideas, but then I've also had worse ones, like accepting this job in the first place. Me amarra no desistente. Você precisa de ajuda, senhor? Speak English? Aham, falo sim. Tem problema. Miss Mills, you ever seen this girl? Fabiana, come here for a second. Look at her. I know lots of girls. Sexy. Come on, come on. This way. Where are you going? Wait a minute. Down there? That's easy. Jesus. Open the Come on! At least I found my 
is not the tour guide.